Welcome to our lesson on percents, fractions, and decimals. Translated fun, fun, and just more fun. With fractions, the first thing that we're going to do is convert fractions to decimals. For example, 1 over 4. If we want to convert that into a decimal, that's the same as saying 1 divided by 4. So to make that into a fraction, what we're going to need to do, or a decimal, I'm sorry, we're going to need to do some division. A prerequisite skill to this is knowing how to do long division. And this is how we would say 1 divided by 4. We're going to do some long division. How many times does 4 go into 1? Well, it doesn't, so we'll just put a 0 up there. And then just for a place filler, we're going to stick a 0 in here. Now we can say, how many times does 4 go into 10? 4 goes into 10 two times. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. And now we'll subtract. 10 minus 8 is 2. And we'll put a 0 in there, Okay, just like it was at the end there. 4 goes into 25 times. 5 times 4 is 20. And so that's our final answer. We have no remainders here. And we have an answer of 0 0.25. So the fraction of 1 fourth, or 1 over 4, is equal to 0 0.25. A prerequisite skill, or something that you need to do, know how to do before we can do this, is how to do the steps of long division. I didn't review that. That's just something that you should need. You need to know how to do before you can do dividing fractions. All right. The next one, we're going to find the fraction of one third into a decimal. We're going to do it exactly the same way. We're going to do three divided by one. Again, three goes into one zero times. So we're going to just add some zeros here. Three goes into ten three times. 3 times 3 is 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. And 3 goes into 1 0 times, so we're going to have to add another 0 there. Now 3 goes into 10 3 times. And 3 times 3 is 9. Do we see a pattern starting here? And then we can add another 0 if we want. Drop that down. This one went here. 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 10 is 9. And you'll notice that this pattern would repeat on and on and on forever. In other words, 1 third is equal to 0 0.33 repeated. All right, 1 third is 0 0.33 repeated. And it would just continue to repeat on and on and on the farther that we go. The next one is 1 fifth, or five, 1 divided by 5. One go, 5 goes into 1 zero times, but 5 goes into 10 two times. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 5 is 10. When we subtract, we get a zero result. So therefore, we've gotten our answer of 1 fifth is equal to 0 0.2. All right? So that's the fraction of 1 fifth is equal to 0 0.2. That's essentially how we do converting of fractions into decimals. We have to just understand that a fraction is just a division question. The top number divided by the bottom number. All right? The next type of question that we're going to do is writing a decimal as a fraction in simplest form. The decimal of 0 0.40, we can also say that as 40 one hundredths or 4 tenths. So when we write that as a fraction, we would write that as 40 over 100. All right, it's 40 hundredths. That's what this means. 0 0.40 means 40 out of 100. And we can reduce that into lowest terms by dividing each side by 20.
and we get the result of 40 divided by 20 is 2, and 100 divided by 20 is 5. So in simplest form, the decimal 0 0.40 is equal to a fraction of 2 fifths. All right? I think the key point here, and the reason I put this question in, was to show that a decimal 0 0.40 is the same as saying 40 over 100 or 40 hundredths. Because in the next question or the next section, we're going to show exactly why that's important. Here we go. What is a percent? A percent means per cent. cent I don't know what root that is. I know in French, C and T cent means 100. So per cent means for every 100, or out of 100, or per 100. So you can write it like this, per 100, or over 100. So here's a couple examples. To say 90% is the same thing as saying 90 out of 100, 90 over 100, or 0 .0, 0.90. All right. I think that's why I did that, that prior question, so that we could convert this type of decimal into a fraction over 100. 20% would be written as 20 over 100, or 0 0.20. That's essentially what percentages are. Now let's work with percentages just a little bit. We're going to convert these fractions, or these decimals into percents. I make one mistake every single lesson with typing, and this is my one mistake. <laughs> We're converting these decimals into fractions, not, or into percentages, not fractions. So let's go ahead and do that. 0 0.45 is equal to 45%. All right? Decimal into a percentage. Pretty simple, 45, 0 0.45, 45%. 0 0.05, if you're doing this on your own, you may have figured this one out already. 0 0.05 is not 50%, but actually 5%, because this is 5 hundredths, OK? So that's 5%. And the last one we have here, 0. 0, 0.0345, for a percentage, that would be 3.45%. Essentially, to find a percentage, you move the decimal place over two points. Okay, so this was moved over two, it was 5.0%. This one was moved over two, is 45%. This one, we moved the decimal two places, and that made it 3.45%. And just to add one more, um, if you have something like this where it's 0 0.4 and you're asked to convert that into a percentage, we're going to do the same thing where we move the decimal place over two spaces, and that is equal to 40%. Even though I didn't list the 0 afterwards, 0 0.4 is 40%. All right. So now, our last step is that we're going to take these percentages, and we're going to write them in decimal form. So we're kind of going to work backwards. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. 35% is 35 hundredths, or 0 0.35. So in the last one, we were moving the decimal place this way to make it a percentage. When it's already in percent form, you can actually just move it in the reverse direction. 15.2% is the same as saying 0 0.152. All right, and 3% is 0 0.03. See, we're moving the decimal place in the left direction two spaces, one, two, every single time, one, two. And for the three, we would go one and two, and we'd have to have a space holder, a placeholder of zero. So that is your lesson part one for fractions, percents, and decimals. I hope this has been helpful. Have a wonderful day.